Hi guys. Hi. It's time for August empties. Yeah. Our products that we have used and are here to report as to whether or not we would repurchase them. Yes. So we're excited. I have you have a lot. I don't have Quite very much. Quite the little collaboration. It's not a collaboration. Like nice Assortment. little groupage yeah. of products. So I'm going to just go first. Yes, you should start. Okay, I used up all of my Body Shop Dreams Unlimited Sun Fresh Eau de Toile. And I love this perfume. It's, it is, this perfume right here it's to really me nice. is summer in a bottle. And we hauled this. I don't know when we oh, hauled it in the spring at, with the body shop. Yeah, we had it was. Um, did we do this? This was the video that was called the body haul. Yeah, I think so. Because we had and we had group haul. Get it, body shop, body haul. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I really, really love this um, perfume. I would definitely buy it again. I will hope and keep my fingers crossed that they have it next summer. Yeah. Because I have some like more folly scents that I look forward to um, going into the fall this oh time gosh, of year. Oh my gosh, going into know, September. Can you, can you believe we're already talking about like what our fall trends and favorites are going to be, but yeah. Crazy. Definitely love this at the Body Shop. It's not super expensive and Body Shop does really great coupons and deals, yes. so check it out if you're ever looking for a good, nice summer in a bottle scent. Check it out. Check it out. Um, I have one. Philosophy Luscious Lime Foaming Bubble Bath and shower gel. Yay! I loved it. I love philosophy and I love the lime scent. Yeah. Um, I first got the urge to try the lime from watching Lorraine Stanek's videos. Mm -hmm. um, current custom. Oh, now gosh. she's hubby wifey TV. TV. She's doing her day in the life videos, which if you guys yeah. don't watch those, those are really entertaining. entertaining. But she and her husband use these a lot, and she's the one that made me want the lime specifically. And I bought it, and I used it, and then last fall I put it on the shelf and didn't touch it again. And then, I don't know, I think I pulled it back out middle July, something like that. And I was on a roll. I was like, <laughs> I love it. I'm going to use it every time I take a bath. And yes. And obviously, I would purchase Philosophy. I do love the brand. Well, we're not going to lie. Doing these empty videos really like us. kicks our butt into high gear to realize that if there's something that we're just like creeping on the edge of being done with, yeah. that we're like, empties. Yeah. And I, yes, I stand in my bathroom, and that's what I do. <laughs> All right. I used up um, a Origins... A Perfect World Cleanser. It's an antioxidant cleanser with white tea. Now, this is old. I did cut it so that I could get every last bit out of it. Uh, we got this April a year ago during Earth Day. Earth Day. It was something that Origins was doing where if you brought in an empty uh, recycle, recyclable like bottle of something, then you could get a free face wash. So, I picked this up then, but didn't use it in my everyday rotation for a while yeah. until I realized that I had maybe this much left and then I really yep. challenged myself this month to finish it up. I'm still working on mine. Yeah, and I, <laughs> I really, I still. Mean, it's not, it's a great face wash. I really like it. I like the way that it, it foams up and it sets up in your hands and then yeah. gets off your makeup great. So would I buy this again? Yeah, you know, I know, I'm really into like Clarins skincare right now, and I still use some like Basha face or Bosha face wash. Yeah. Um, but Origin skincare is, is wonderful too. I love the Vitazine. Yes. Um, I have a little sample, and I cannot tell you what Birch Box this came in because I got it a long time ago. Mm -hmm. It's the Jue Lip Enhancer Conditioning Treatment. Teeny, teeny, tiny thing here. Um, I got it and I was like, what is this? It's so little. Like, I don't even know. And I just started reaching for it again. And I love it. In fact, and I didn't cut it. You want to know why I didn't cut it? One, it's really small. And number two is because <laughs> I recently purchased a full size Yay. from Birchbox. Yeah. Yay. Um, I'll tell you, what I really like about this is, so, all right, let me just tell you a little bit about it because a little thing doesn't have it on there. A nourishing and conditioning lip treatment with clinically proven maxi lip to create the fullness of lips while decreasing fine lines. With its botanical ingredients, this ultra rich lip moisturizer helps protect lips from environmentally damaging elements. Uh, for optimum results, apply three times a day for 29 days. Perfect as a night treatment. Um, I don't. 
do it three times a day for 29 days. <laughs> but I do use it in the morning as I put makeup on. And I do use it sometimes before I go to bed. And actually, you know why I like it? Whatever that maxi lip is, I actually think it does do something to enhance the look of my lips. I thought for a while it was all mental. Mental, because sometimes if you want something to work, you will almost will mm -hmm. it to work. But I swear to you, I think it does. I think it really, really does. And I'm excited to have a full size. So, so thank you, Birchbox. Like you can have lip injections without the needle. I swear, because I have a de like a decent size bottom lip, and my top lip is not as full as my bottom lip. Now I would never go get teach his own, have at it, but I would never do that because um, I'm afraid that it would be like, <laughs> you know, whatever. But I really like this. Let me know if you guys have used this and what you what you think. Yeah, Jouer is a product Jouet. that... Jouer. Um, yeah, Birchbox has definitely been the one to introduce us to yeah. Jouer. And I think that this was um, $14 at Birchbox, and I think it's definitely a good price for what it does for me. Cool. I just really like it. That's awesome. All right, this is something that's not very fun, but it is an empty nonetheless. This is a Bath & Body Works Paris Amour body lotion, and it makes me want to go to Paris. Oh, me too. Um, yeah, these are just great travel size, great sample. Yeah. Like, if you just want to get a couple of different scents and you don't yeah. want to get the big lotion bottles, then I like to buy these, and they're normally like three for something. Yeah. So. And if you catch it right when they're launching a new fragrance, oh, like, you can get them for like, like free, a, like a dollar or free sometimes. It's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Because gosh, Bath and Body Works coupons. Fabulous. Yes, I get like I feel like I get those coupons like three days a week in the mail. Yeah. I get we get so many of them, and they send really great email coupons yeah. too. So if you don't sign up to get their emails, you should. Um, but yeah, this is just a really great scent. It's kind of powdery. When you say that's powdery scented to you, like I think it's a good bedtime scent. Yeah. To little... me, it's either scents to me are either powdery and like be bedtime ish, or so they're right. fruity. I'm so awful at t determining scents. I that's yeah. good. Yeah, I liked it, but mm -hmm. um, I would use this when I got out of the shower at night and I finally finished it up. So I thought I'd show that to you guys. Cool. This is something that I kind of wanted to talk about. It's the L'Oreal New Sublime Sun Advanced Sunscreen SPF 50 Plus Long Lasting UVA UVB Protection. Um, love it. This is my second bottle, and I'm sorry that you did not see an empty mm -hmm. one of these in the July empties, but I left it in the Dominican on vacation. I went through it that week, and yeah, threw it away. Didn't want to pack it back in my suitcase and bring it. So since then, I have purchased another one, and I really like these. And thanks to my mom. For recommending that we get these because she saw it on the Today Show and she mm -hmm. was like we need to have these. I really like the spray on this for some reason. I thought it really was a fine all over mist that people like me who are challenged when it comes to spray sunscreen because somehow I don't always evenly coat myself and so I rely on others to do it for me. I did it all by myself like a big girl and it worked and it, it says it's clear, so it's not yeah, like a no, white it's, spray. Yeah, it's clear, That's it's nice. non-greasy, and it says it's skin beautifying sun care with antioxidants. And I'll cool. tell you, it protected me in the Dominican, and it's what I've been using here, and I wanted to show it um, because, you know, while September is still warm here for mm -hmm. us, um, it's not like, you know, we're going to be in bathing suits a lot more. Yeah, so. but you'd I buy just wanted that again to, next time. Absolutely going to buy this, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. That's awesome. Okay. I used up another hair care product by Aveda. This is the Aveda Be Curly. It intensifies curl, combats frizz, and boosts shine on curly or wavy hair. I think I talked about this in a Rediscovered yeah, video so. in either June or July. Something like that. But I finally that. finished it up. I cut it to dig every little last bit out. I can smell it. I love oh. Aveda. Oh, gosh. I know. Oh. Their product smells so good. I need like candles all over my house that smell like Aveda. They make Aveda candles. That's not good. I didn't need to know that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I love this. This is one of my favorite products for leaving my hair just natural and a little bit curly. Because um, it's not a crunchy hold. It's a very, very soft, natural hold. So if you're looking for something that's a really good product for that, check this out. Yeah, I would I would buy good. this again. In fact, I think I even mentioned in my Rediscover videos that I was going to be running out of this yeah. soon and that I needed to pick up another thing. It's a good one. And now when I pick up another bottle of that, I might just have to pick up a candle. Yeah. 
Absolutely. And this time of year when the rush of summer is over, we tend to get really anxious for like fall scents. I mean, it is only going to be the beginning of September soon. <laughs> it's not like it's November, but we do get, you know how you're so excited for summer and then three quarters of the way through summer you're like, yes, fall, you yeah. know, boots and long sleeve shirts. And well, with that comes scents. And this is really gross looking, but it's an empty Lush bag. And inside of this was Phoenix Rising, the Bath Fizz. I love it. Yeah. Can you still smell it? A little bit, not much. But it's definitely more of a fall scent. Yeah. I just think ugh. it is. It's um I used that one not too long ago too, and it's a very it's fall to me. It's it's, it's a cinnamon heavy, cinnamony, warm, yes. like sitting by the fireplace kind of. And scent. I love when you drop it in and it just starts fizzing and it totally turns purple. Bath water purple. I think one of our photo of a days photo mm -hmm. photo a day I showed my purple bath and it was it wasn't this particular one I've gotten mm -hmm. it a few times but it's funny we've always just thrown these away and not thought about talking I know. about them well it's like we go uh, we go through our lush products but yeah. obviously you guys know when you finish up a lush bath bomb or bath melt or something finishing. there's nothing yeah. left to show for it yeah, so I just we're going to start trying to do this if we can remember. Yeah. And the bag is recyclable, which I'm going to put in the recycle bin when I get home. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Anyway, that's okay. all I have. And I was also scraping for empties because I've been <laughs> bad and not had too many this month. Well, I have a couple more, just a um, couple little things, and then one pretty decent thing that I finally finished. Uh, one is a little sample of the Clarins Self-Tanning Instant Gel. This came in the... Clarins haul that I did in July. Um, I finally just got around to using this after, you know, taking a break from yeah. my St. Tropez just one night. I decided to use this. It is such a tiny sample. Was it one? Did it cover everything? Just one? No. Okay. I got like, I got like both legs out of it. Okay. And that's it. So it was just a really, really tiny sample, but I still appreciate trying yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I probably wouldn't go purchase this one. I don't know that I loved the gel formula very much. I like the more like lotion okay. type self tanners. What was the smell? Um, a little bit of a tanner smell. You know, I don't think I remember there being much of probably one. Probably because it's not much in there. Yeah. They probably, it's nice to get samples, but for something like this and what it is, they really probably needed a bigger size. Yeah, I would have so loved really to have been see able to like, you use it all your over. Whole body. Yeah. But um, it's okay. I, but again, like Saint Tropez is my favorite now, so I'll be sticking to that. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Another thing that I used it is, is this Coco de Soleil Gloss Modern High Gloss Mask, and this came in my July Birch box. So I just stuck it in my shower sometime in August and decided to finally like give it a go. I did not get this, and I'm bummed because I just it smells so good. It's like coconut heaven. It is coconut heaven. Mm -hmm. And I really did like the way that it worked on my hair. Um, I oh, get man. a little heavy handed with stuff like conditioning treatments <laughs> and masks. So I think I used this maybe three times. Like, because I oh, wow. used big old globs of it. But Did you um, feel like it weighed your hair down or anything? No, not okay. at all. And, and I really... It smells so good. Yeah, and something like this with a mask, I don't put it on my roots. I don't know if you're supposed to or not, but um, just because yeah. sometimes if you use a, tr a treatment or, condition or conditioning mask at your roots, it'll make your roots a little more oily. Mm -hmm. So I just use this like maybe three quarters of the way down. Um, but I really like the smell. And I'm not a fan of coconut. I unless dare, it's I coconut it. shrimp. I like coconut shrimp. Um... <laughs> But my biggest accomplishment for wow. this month was that I finished off my Laura Geller Balance and Bronze Regular. Now, I talked about the fact that I've already gotten a Too Faced bronzer in the process of using this up, but I scraped the bottom of the barrel on this. Wow. There's still a little bit of product around the edges, but you can see that in the terracotta dish, wow. you can see the little squares that are there because uh, all of Laura Geller's products like this are baked, baked on the terracotta stone in Italy. Right? It was yeah. Italy? Yeah, I think um, so. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think it's kind of cool that you can see what the, the stone actually looks like with the little squares. But I really enjoyed this bronzer. Yeah. It's the, did I say that it's the balance, balance, and, balance. and bronze regular? So, we love Laura yeah. Geller. I will definitely be buying Laura Geller products again. Right now, I'm enjoying my Too Faced bronzer, but I like to mix it up, and I'll yeah. definitely go back to Mrs. Geller at some point. 
Yeah, that's awesome. So those are our August empties. We really, really enjoy doing these videos. We and we've gotten great feedback from you all that you yeah. like watching them. So thank you for being with us. Yeah. And we'd love to hear your comments. Yeah, let us know what you've finished up this month. Yeah, and if you have a recommendation for something that you have used up and yeah. you would go buy again, send it our way. Yeah, because absolutely. maybe we want to give it a try. Cool. All right. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.